Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 78, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. Last episode, we started up the new game plus, and I kind of missed my opportunity to, to get the earliest attack in on Lavos. Instead of grabbing the pennant off of the, the pad there, I should have gone to the right pad and hit that little flashy thing that was sitting there. And that would have allowed me to uh, to get Lavos at the earliest opportunity in New Game Plus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to run through this as quick as I can. I'm going to skip all the battles that will let me skip. Um, I'm going to absolutely massacre the people who uh, get in my way. <laughs> I, and then... Uh, and see if I can't get there in the next 20 minutes and uh, get to get to fight Lavos again from the ground up and solo him for the 4 XP. I mean, ideally, I'd be stopping by all those boxes, picking up the stuff, selling them for the cash. Someone's going to tell me that uh, this is the, the time of the Fiend Lord and yada yada. All right, let me uh, let me get to the queen. And around and around we go. Might as well take my free shelter. That didn't take too much extra time. Oh, no, these guys are going to try their luck. Here, we'll do that. <laughs> I still need more. Uh, I still need more. Song, lightning related song titles to do every time I do that one. Yeah, you can only you can only hum Thunderstruck and uh, ride the lightning, but so many times. All right, into the castle. Halt! Who goes there? I've not seen your face before this second time around. <laughs> okay. Yada yada yada, stop that at once, Queen Linny. It is not really Queen Linny. Uh oh, they're getting the look. You refuse to obey my orders? No, forgive me, my lady. Please enter. All right, let's uh, dash up to the queen's place. The queen. I think we all know how this goes. Her Majesty awaits you. And this is where we find out that uh, this is not really Queen Linny. This is Marley, who we just had a minute ago. Come near, I'm already standing right in front of you. Fooled you, didn't I? It's me, but everybody keeps calling me Linny for some reason. Glad you came. We're only together for that short time at the fair, but I knew you'd come for me. It's almost like the plot required it. Is this love or is this plot? <laughs> Thank you, Kroto. Oh no! She's about to disappear. I feel like I'm being torn apart. Help me, Kroto. You're my only hope. <laughs> yeah, almost like... <laughs> All right. The snarky gossip goes on in the corner, just like the la just like when you did the original game. We have our same discussion with Luca again about uh, how she disappeared and yada yada. We find out that she's a part of the royal line. I remember I'm trying to speed run through this to get to. Uh, to get to the part where we fight Lavos again. 
uh, early this time, and we get a different ending. Where it looks like she, like, sneezed out the kid. And there we go. So if you kill her grandmother, she'll never exist. Dun dun dun. So now we need to find the real queen. No, oh, that's right. These guys are going to do the... Oh, I forgot to equip Luca with all her stuff. All right, I can do that in just a second. But these guys will be dead. Fifteen XP, hundred and twenty gold. All right, let's go. Equipment, Luca. All right, was it the turbo shot or the shock wave? Yeah, no, the shot, uh, turbo shot, and the vigilance hat, and the prismatic dress, and the golden stud. Oh, my monitor just blinked on me for some reason. I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> yeah. 80s tech. Eh, pretty close. Because this game came out in the early to mid 90s. And it was for the uh, Super Nintendo. I can switch it back to the classic graphics, but, uh, all right, uh, there we go. That's right. I had to find the, uh, hairpin. What did you find? A hairpin? This is Guardia's Royal Crest. <laughs> oh no. The battle that used to be tough is about to not be tough as we set off a flare. <laughs> Let Luca run through some of her magic points a little bit too. <laughs> Overkill. Nah, no such thing. No, I've been commenting all along about how the graphics were, uh, haven't exactly held up over time, shall we say. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember when the Super Nintendo w was high resolution, hot graphics. I remember when we played with the Nintendo and the endless runs of Castlevania. <laughs> You've come to save the queen? The fiend's lair lies within, it would seem. Will you accompany me? Why, yes, after equipping you with the amazing stuff that I have from New Game Plus. Sounds like a outlet store or something. Shop New Game Plus. <laughs> yeah, a lot of memories of Castlevania. Um, in the uh, in the little interlude between season one and season two, I actually played a, a little bit of Castlevania live as part of my uh, NES retrospective. All right. You know what? I'm actually kind of curious. Will he let me choose Glenn? Was it with one E or two? I think it was just with the one. Let's not spill the coffee on the keyboard. I already got the... The only reason why I'm using this keyboard is because I spilled something on the last one. Is Glenn correct? Yes. Glenn will suffice.
All right, nice to meet you. Or maybe it was two ends. I probably should have taken the extra two minutes to look that up, but oh well. All right. Let's uh, get you squared away, Sir Glenn. 160, 135. Why do I still have the Brave Sword then? Because that's the one that I want. And a Vigilance Hat. And... Hmm. All right, since he's already got that, that prevents all status ailments. Let's save the Nova armor for somebody else and give him the Saurian leathers. And we're going to swap that out for another golden stud. And we play the piano. Yes, I did enjoy the coffee. And we're going to try to deke and dodge our way through as much of this as we can. Um, yeah, I do want to take the extra time to set the uh, these guys free. Come on, guys. Oh, wait. And I wanted something else while I was there. Uh, you can pick up all the capsules tabs, depending on uh, which version of the game you're playing. So you can pick up all those capsules and tabs that will boost up the stats the second time through. That's, that's one of the nice things about the new game plus is you come with your strength and speed and magic and everything as it was set up as it was at the time of the last save. So you can, through, you know, another couple of go-throughs of the game, get everybody maxed out to the top everything. And uh, that does allow for some nice nice stuff, especially as you go through and, you know, you can collect all that stuff again and save it. Um, I'm trying to get this as a speed run. Ah. All right, we could save. That's where we find out that there's nothing back there. We'll let him sulk. No, oh, I guess we are going to get our battle here. All right, drown him in some water. That should be all we need, but... <laughs> Yeah, I do usually go for the light roasts. There we go. 39 XP, yada yada. <laughs> All right, we've hit our two switches. Which means we can now come through and do this dance. It should only take the one attack. <laughs> 7k worth of damage. I don't think these guys have more than a couple hundred hit points in the first place. XP gold. An iron sword. All right, that's what I want right there. Because that's going to open up the... Uh... <laughs> there we go. And down and around we go yet again. Come on, guys. Seriously, why, why, why are you doing this? This is only going to end badly for one of us.
Interesting. I would have thought that did uh, more damage to those guys. I mean, it's enough. It killed them. I mean, past dead. Is there really a point? All right. Just because I can't leave boxes unopened. I'm trying to. I'm supposed to. I'm trying to do this quick. Oh, oh. All right. I guess we're going to have to do this battle. Fine. I'll make it quick. Speaking of light roast, we'll uh, lightly roast these guys for about 7k a pop. <laughs> oh, and to think that this was like almost a whole episode. No, this was, well, it was a number of episodes to get to this point in the game. Just because, uh, you know, we're, you were that low level at the time. You, how did you get in here? Glenn, flee your majesty. Bravely run away. All right, yep, and we're about to find out that the chancellor is not really a chancellor. And, uh, yep, yeah. oh, there he is. Big and ugly. The Chancellor transformed in Yakra. Let's hit him with everything we got. That should finish him off pretty quick. Yep, there we go. Boss battle beat. <laughs> it's a little different the second time around. Because again, remember, in, in the first time through the game, you're you're low level. That that's a tough boss fight. You get a <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it is kind of, uh This is about the same same time as uh The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Which was a very fun game. Uh, somebody else seems to keep telling me that I really need to get into Ocarina of Time, but because I, I never, I never played that one. Da, da, da. Yeah, there he is. All right. Uh, one. Of, yeah, there we go. There is the Chancellor. Probably ought to, you know, let him loose. All right, let's be on our way. Yeah, can't know how worried. Yakra that beast, criminal justice system, yada yada. That's about to come back and bite us later. Except we should get to the Lavos battle first. All right, Glenn's going to go off into self-exile. All right. Where did the princess disappear? She may be there now. Up, oh, up the stairs. The gossip continues in the corner. And there she is. Huh? What happened? Princess Nadia. It was awful. I was so afraid. Yep. Uh-oh. The gig is up. All right. Yeah, sure. Of course I would have. All right. And, uh, just because I can't leave a... Oh. 
I'm sorry, most of these boxes weren't stuff that I needed to worry about. All right, now I am trying to get to the big boss battle. To get the, uh, the programmer's ending, if I remember right. It was my presence here that endangered the queen. Yada yada, resemblance to the queen. Come on, I was trying so hard to get to the boss battle by the 20 minute mark. And I'm not quite there. Alright, I should be able to get back to the fair. And then at the... Oh, come on guys, why are you doing this? You're just embarrassing all of us. Done. All right, yeah, because I, I should be able to get back to the fair in time, and then what I'll do is I'll call the normal episode, and uh, and then start the final <laughs> the final battle early on the top of the next one. Alright, actually, I need to uh, conserve my magic points, so we'll do the regular attacks anyway, because they're going to be enough. And I got a full party, so uh, that shouldn't take long. Done. Alright, and this is where she tells us about the gate key. You're amazing. Through the time gate. It's almost like a stargate. Come on. Portals through time, unstable tunnels, wormholes, yada yada. Things. <laughs> All right. And away we go. Back home. Through the time, time gate of trippiness. Alright, come back to the castle. Luke is going to have to run real quick. There we go, and there's the special gate. It's only available in the new game plus. The earlier you do it, the earlier you get here. I really didn't want to burn through that much magic this early on, but uh Um, and then we'll see if I can uh, manage to make it through. Because <laughs> this is the big bad guy, if you remember. This is this is the the end boss, and this is uh, pretty close to the earliest that you can take him on. All right, hang in there, Marley. Let's uh, cure two. Destruction rains from the heavens. Uh, that's right, she didn't have any group healing. That was part of the problem.
All right, we'll try to keep Chrono alive while he does all the damage. There we go. Round one is done. Unbelievable. <laughs> now you'll notice something different this time. There's uh there's no gate because we haven't unlocked any of those gates getting this early in the game. There's no save point. That that's the part that kind of bothers me. Uh, since this is a little bit long for an episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the credits and I'm going to say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. There's still a little bit more to come. If you're watching later on YouTube and you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow on Twitch. Hit the little heart icon on the top right there to uh, get notified when I go live. It also helps the channel out. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, there's a link in the description below. It also helps there, and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live folks, give me just a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.